Hey, just recently I noticed uh, my car was doing this funny thing. When I'd get up to a certain amount of speed, it would shimmy really badly. And it scared me, of course, but I'm thinking, well, maybe it's the, the tires because it didn't need new tires. And I had gotten out and looked at the tires. And on the front, there was like a little chunk had been taken out of the side. Just a little chunk, a little shallow chunk. But that little bitty thing made that whole car shimmy when it tried to get some traction and get going and i did get new tires and it's just fine now it rides so smooth i'm so happy it does but here's what it made me think of of course i think that's what happens in our life sometimes we get one little thing and that one little thing gets stuck in our mind it gets stuck in our heart and the next thing you know we're all out of balance. We're trying to make great headway. We're trying hard to get where we want to go. We're pushing as hard as we can, perhaps. But guess what? We don't get anywhere because of all the drama that's caused within us, within our heart and our spirits, because of one little thing that we have let stay, that we have neglected to tend to. It's the same thing with this. You know, I see a dirty spot on my steps, and I think, oh, God, that's going to be a trial for me to get to because you know it's like just going to be a thing and it's not even a bad place it's just a little dirty place that needs to be cleaned up but it means I have to go get the the mop it means I have to climb up a couple of steps it means I might have to actually bend over or something I don't know I don't want to do it so I don't even look at it it's like if I don't look at it it's not there well, finally, you know, I'm going to have to clean something. So I go and I get my mop because I'm actually going to do my job. And I go and I look and, oh, gosh, now it's all dirty. It, it's really dirty. And it's because now I, it's my own fault. Now, I neglected it, didn't want to see it, didn't want to look at it, pretended it wasn't there. If I don't see it, it don't exist. Then finally, when I do get around to doing it, it's a big old hairy job. And I should have took care of it while it was small, while it was nothing big, but I didn't. And I guess, again, the moral of this story is take care of the little things before then they turn into big old messes. And you'll be glad you did down the road. If you don't, you're going to have to attend to this stuff at some point. And, you know, you, it's a lot easier when you nip things in the bud, you know. As Barney Fife on Andy Griffith used to say, nip it, nip it. But, um... That, and, and like I said, when you find you got something little in your head and it's bothering you real bad, try to get it worked out. Try to talk it out. You know, I had this preacher used to say that, you know, a thought is like a bird. It can fly through your head, and as long as that's fine. You can't always control those thoughts that go whizzing through there, can you? But you don't want to let them build a nest. Because if you do, you're going to end up being way in trouble and out of balance and all grades of things down the road. That's it for today.